Robert L. Johnson. That's what we're talking about today. Black real estate investors and developers. I have to give a quick disclaimer before I get into the meat of this video because I just I just need people to somewhat understand. I know a lot of people won't, but I still I still got to do this anyway. Okay, and if you don't want to hear this shit, that's fine. Fast forward the, the video like a minute or two. I started doing this series about two years ago. Okay, the purpose of me doing this series is because I I, I just get tired of and thank God I've gotten off social media a lot and uh, all that other crap. You know, seeing these fake investors online with the with the Ferrari and this and all this stage stuff. And um, my mother's a teacher, so I speak with a lot of the youth. And, you know, on their phone, that's all they see. They, they only see what's paid because these guys, these fake gurus are being paid to be in front of them to act like they real and really trying to look out for them. Yeah, some of them are. Very, very few, though. So I really want to do this series to present to the youth, real estate investors that... that own, manage, or operate real estate in excess of a hundred million dollars. Not these old fake clowns you see on the internet. Everybody, and I've done about eight or nine of these videos. It's in a playlist here on my YouTube channel. So if you need to go look at the other ones, please go look at them, okay? Because I'm talking about the real bosses, okay? Only a fake person is going to pay to be in front of you and then talk about they real, okay? Uh, the, the real people in the background doing real things in the real environment uh, with other real people, like my man right here, Robert Johnson. The other reason I do this series is because I, 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 I do research on this to present this to you, and I, I hope you see these efforts. And when you're going out into the game, doing what you're doing, no matter what it is, real estate, entrepreneurship, you do your research. It's not enough people doing research. And that's why people don't know about the real bosses. They only know about the fake bosses or the bosses that's being presented to them because they ain't doing no real research, man. And we talk about bosses, man, a hundred million plus, man. And I and I, I go through this and we, we talk about the websites. When I go through this presentation, I'll tell you what to look for to find a real investor, a real for real investor that's really in the turf, man, making it work. You understand what I'm saying? Um, also... A lot of people, they always want to invest with other people. They want that. You know, there's a lot of people starting all these investment funds and all this. But these guys been doing that shit. And that's why when people claiming that they're starting this and they're the first person to do it, it's like, dude, dude, these, these guys been doing that. And we'll talk about that in this. And you can also invest in these guys' properties. OK, so like just check out the whole series on black real estate investors here on YouTube, because um, there is there's other opportunities. And in, instead of investing with uh, scammers and shady people. Uh, on the internet. I don't want you to lose, man. I want you to win, man. So, man, that's real talk, man. And I just, I really also do this, man, for my ancestors, man, just to give respect to the ancestors, give respect to individuals that have, you know, uh, 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 came out the mud, put their 10 toes down on the concrete, man, and kept it solid all the way, man, and never, never look back, man. And we just got to give respect um, for individuals like Robert L. Johnson. And one of the reasons I stopped doing these type of videos but I always had this urge. I said, I mean, I got to do this, Robert L. Johnson, at some point. is because <clears throat> with the amount of clout chasing this today, I don't like doing any video or doing anything on my YouTube or anywhere that um, has another person's name. Because when you look at most YouTube channels that are real, real popular, they're, they're either entertaining. They're not, you know what I mean? Because this is not entertainment. This is just information. And that's why I'm trying to keep this steady because I only want this to be about 15, 20 minutes because it's, it's not it's some animated thing. But uh, most people, they're talking about other people and they've gotten their reputa reputation through clout chasing or talking about other people or using other people's names and their titles. And I'm just, I'm not for that, man. If I can't make make it just being myself, keeping it real and giving the information I get, then fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit, the shit just gonna be where it's gonna be at, man. Let's get into this shit, man. I give thanks, man. If you wanna read, if you wanna reach me for real, I don't read no damn comments or none of that shit. Email me at info at com, man. Email me about getting some money, man. Let's do this shit for real, for real, man. Let's get into it, man. Who is RLJ, man? Robert L. Johnson, a.k.a. Bob Johnson. The young man, well, he ain't young no more, man. He a, a young, seasoned vet in the game, you know, uh, five star, five star general. Uh, but this young man was born, I think it was, um, I, think I looked it up, I think it was 1947, 1940s for sure, in Hickory, Mississippi, the small town of good old Hickory, Mississippi. <clears throat> 
Hickory, Mississippi only has 500 people right now. When he was growing up, it had about six or 700, not too much more, but very small town in central Mississippi. His father was a farmer. Thank God for all the farmers out there. Just give thanks for the farmers. His mother was a teacher. And give, give thanks for all the teachers, man. We, we need them. He was the ninth of 10 children. Very big family, okay? And a lot of people know Bob Johnson, Robert Johnson, because he's the founder of BET. We'll talk about that more in the next slide. He went to the University of Illinois, then went on to Princeton University in New Jersey. Um, I think he went there to get his MBA. I'm pretty sure that was. Then he started working for the Central Broadcasting System. I believe that's what CBS stands for. In the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Okay. Critical. And this is when he started to see what was going on in entertainment, uh, television, the production. You, he just got to see the inner working. So let's move on to the BET because I, I know this is about real estate investors. I know it's about real estate developers, but it is so critical that I talk about the BET because this lays out the path for everything else. And this is really what helped, and from my point of view, uh, spawn the real estate in investments or sparked the real estate investments. Let me use that word. Um, but BET was major, man. But all Bob Johnson was to create a black entertainment television, BET, hence the word, where African Americans could have African Americans, blacks, I like to say blacks, um, could have a place. Where entertainment was geared towards them. Okay. So BET started in 1980. <clears throat> and when it first started, it was only on two hours a week on Fridays. That's based off what I read. Only two hours a week on Fridays. But then three years later, grinded it out three years later didn't give up see and this is the reason i have to do these presentations this is the reason i'm speaking a lot i need your attention right here because when you get on instagram and snatch everybody did it overnight everybody did it overnight they started yesterday and they booming i made ten thousand dollars last month i just started yesterday you know what i mean i made a hundred million yesterday and i just started tomorrow all this other crazy shit that don't even make sense this dude it took them three years just to get on every on all over Took th three years just for him to, to, to expand the network to an everyday, fully express, fully accessible, uh, full channel. Three years, okay? So the overnight shit, throw it out the window. That's why I'm saying I'm doing this for the youth. You guys need to understand, it ain't happening. You got to grind, my, you got to grind, my dog. You got to grind. <clears throat> Took him five years to become profitable, okay? And let me tell you something right here. He was the first black control company on the new york stock exchange okay and this i mean what what do you understand this do you understand this okay it's a lot of entertainers out here it's a lot of guys that that they claim they the they the they the, the whatever you 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 know I'm, I'm gonna throw some hints out there you may know who i'm talking about and i'm not even throwing a troll no shade at the dude i don't really care i'm just trying to keep it real for you so you really know the difference between uh for real for real and for real for fake you feel me so uh let's just keep it all the way one thou wow right here you feel me first black controlled that means fully controlled by a black person there's a lot of individuals they fronting like they have they black company back that but they controlled by some other holding company they controlled by another corporation they are controlled by some investors and they guess what they they ain't black okay you understand what I mean? you you, you kind of you get where i'm coming so it's a lot of people fronting yeah they, they they running a black company but are they black are they black controlled Get your, get your verbiage game up, player partner. You understand what I'm saying? Then Viacom came in. And if you don't know Viacom, that's like a major media conglomerate. Conglomerate. Um, they bought BET in 2000, man. But Viacom owned NTV, a prefla of other stations. And for people that grew up in that area like me, we remember like into the early 2000s, you know, the networking on BET started changing gradually. But Bob was still the CEO, but he wasn't the owner. It wasn't black controlled, you feel me, anymore. So you could see it changing. And for the people that grew up in this day, you know what I'm talking about. You you, you remember in the early 2000s, you start being on BET. You're like, what the, what, what the hell is this? What the, 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 what
What? You you know what I'm talking about. It's all good though. Hey Bob, I ain't mad at you because look, Bob, it's about it's about getting in there, grinding it out. Look, he did that for 20 years. Grinded it out. 1980 to two grinded it. He flipped it. He went in something else. But guess what? The new stuff is black on. So we sometimes we get all upset. Oh man, oh yeah, yeah. But do we gotta look at the plays? And if there ain't no other black person that's gonna buy BET. Then and they bought it for three billion with a B. Viacom acquired BT for three billion dollars in two thousand. So in two thousand, okay, <clears throat> twenty years ago, three billion. You feel me? Uh, get your get your paper straight. You understand what I'm saying? So um, what I'm trying to tell you is, yeah, sometimes we get upset because things change. Yeah, I was upset when BC changed, but I wasn't aware that this individual went and he just flipped it on something else. So we just gotta we gotta. That's why we gotta do our research. Because we still could support Bob and what he's doing, but we just got to know what he's going into, okay? One of the things he went into is he bought the Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Bobcats, and let's look at this again. See, it's a lot of guys, a lot of these entertainers, like I'm telling you, they they, they controlled by someone else. But look, they, they and you might know how I'm talking about now. There's other guys, they buying other teams, starting other uh, uh, teams in the league, and they claiming they owner, but they only own in like 1.005.34%. Okay, of the team. And they just looking good for the paperwork and the media. Then there's people like Bob Johnson. Okay. Majority owner of the Bobcats 2002. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Majority owner. And I'm pretty sure uh, 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 this was, I mean, come on, man. This is big stuff, man. First First black control company on the New York Stars Exchange. First black majority owner in in, in uh, probably of, of any sports team, but we just gonna say at the minimum the NBA. Okay, so listen, man, come on, man, get out of here with that, man. See, that's why I just want to put it in perspective, y'all, man. I want to put things in perspective. It takes twenty years, man. It took them twenty years to make the flip, and then here we go. We go into real estate. R L J Lodging Trust. <clears throat> and this first sentence is from their website self-advised okay i want to go back for a minute okay look black controlled black majority okay Let, let's go forward self-advised do, do you see the verbiage that continues to be in here okay this is a black man with a mission and he doing it by himself, man. I'm not saying he ain't got people advising him. I ain't saying he got other people. But I'm we saying self, we saying a uh, uh, majority of the advisory, majority of the ownership. You know what I mean? Every the bulk is coming. Bam. You you feel me? And it's a publicly traded real estate investment trust, also known as a REIT. So people that say, oh, I want to invest in real estate, but I don't really want to invest in the property and I want to invest with some a person of color. Here you go. You can invest in the RLJ Laws and Trust. It's a REIT. OK, here's your solution. OK, here we go. Focus, premium branded, focus branded and compact full service hotel. So premium branded. So they want premium brands. Focus brand. They mean that means they don't want no knockoff. It ain't like, you know, we're going to Exxon, we're going to Shell. We ain't going to the gas station that's uh happy gas. You see what I'm saying? So he wants premium focus branded, excuse me, focus branded hotels, compact full service. This ain't no motel on the side of the road player. Okay. Properties are in urban areas, dense markets. <clears throat> Excuse me. The brands consist of Courtyard by Marriott, Residence Inn by Marriott, Hilton Garden Inn, Homewood Suites by Hilton, Hyatt Place in Winham, and there's others. Of his portfolio, 39% of his hotels that he owns, RL, RLJ Lodge and Trust owns, is uh, Marriott. 37% is Hilton. 10% is Hyatt. Then the end of percentage is other. Okay, uh, this was started in 2000 and it became publicly traded in 2011. Okay, my brother's on his grind. My brother's on his grind. The current portfolio: 127 hotels. I actually think it's more than that uh, because I was on the website and I was reading their 156 in a page. Investor like uh, 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 
what do you want to call it? Uh, perspective, pro prospectus, uh, uh, annual report, wh whatever it was. I can't remember exactly what it was, but you know, it's a lot of guys they're investing in real estate. They got the real estate fund. They're the first person to do the real estate fund, and all. But this dude been do he been this is so many people that's been doing this. It's been it's been being done. I'm not throwing no shade. I I'm just saying, hey 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 player, hey it's been going down. It's just been overlooked. Cause I ain't know that the real ain't gotta be having all. It ain't. It, come on, man. There's two ways to do this, man. You gotta figure out how you gonna go about doing it. You got 127 uh, hotels, 25,000 rooms, and 23 states and Washington D.C. Get your mind on your money. 2007, he merged with Felcor Trust which was also in the hospitality uh, uh, investment business. And that, when they came together and merged, that gave RL Trust an additional 37 properties. And as you can see, that's the RL Trust team on the New York Stock Exchange. Getting that money, man. Look how happy they look, man. It's just a blessing, man. Get your money, man. This could be, this could be you. This is why I'm doing it. This could be you and your people on the stock exchange clapping and it looked like somebody's daughter in the front. Man, you could take your man, get your mind on your paper, player. Get to some bigger things, man. You over here trying to take an Instagram picture. Man, we over here clapping at the New York Stock Exchange with our logo on the back, man. You gotta figure out where you wanna be. You really gotta figure out where you wanna be, man. I'm sorry, I just be so annoyed with with what, what people be trying to do. Like, that's really what you trying to do, bro. That's really why you did that, bro. Get the hell up out of here, man. Here goes some of his hotels right and right here, man. It's the Hyatt House in Anaheim, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show you some pictures of the properties because you know I, I want you to physically see this. You understand what I'm saying? So if you ever in Anaheim, going to Disneyland or something. Uh, man, go 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 support the brother, man. Go go mess with the kid at the Hyatt House, man. Let's keep it moving. See, I grew up in the Bay Area, and I remember this hotel because if you could see, let me let me use the mouse right here. See right here, this San Francisco, this Emeryville, Oakland is over here to the side on this side of the water, man. West Oakland over there. Fast shout out to everybody in the Bay. Fast shout out to my people in Richmond. Um, fast shout out to all my people all over the Bay, man. Vallejo, Richmond, man, wherever you at, man. Oakland. Uh, well, man, you know all the cities, man. I can't go, man. You know San Francisco. I, I miss the East Bay, but man, who would know? So all my people that's everybody that lives in the East Bay that go to San Francisco. When you go past this hotel, just be like, hey, man, you know, like, hey, man, to just tell your people in the car when you pass in the hotel, like, hey, man, hey, man, hey, a black person on that hotel right there, bro. I just want to tell you that, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying, put it in perspective for people. Hey man, hey man, put put that Instagram down for a minute, bro. Look look right over here to your right, man, before we get on the bridge, bro. Black man on that thing right there, bro. Get your mind on your paper, man. Fast it out to my people in the H Town, man. Just the courtyard. Houston by the Galleria, man. That Galleria is, you know, that's high end on that side, man. I forget what side of Houston that's on, but that ain't no, that ain't no, hey, hey. That's that's a you got to get your get your get your get your tires shined up, man, before you bang them corners. So this is what he's doing. I need you guys to see it. I need you to understand it. Okay, get with it, man. Like I said, R L J is a public tra publicly traded company. Their stock is R L J. You can invest in this company. So people that say they want to invest in real estate, they don't want to go out here and buy the property and have all the risk, and they want to invest with somebody that's been doing it, really doing it, had a track record of doing it, going to continue to do it, teaching these other people how to do it, passing that down to their kids so they can do it, and ain't doing it for the internet, ain't doing it for the Instagram, ain't doing it to show off, ain't doing it for all the foolishness, looking like a damn circus clown. Uh, man, you can invest in this company, man. That, I just want you to understand, man. It's really people really out here really doing it, man. So you out here looking to invest in a stock or something, man, go do your research. Like I said, go to rljlodgingtrust.com, download the information, the annual report, see the numbers, man. They mandated by the SEC, man. They, they can't be playing no games, man. They ain't got time to be doing deals for uh, Instagram, man. You feel me? They just did a deal, uh, I think a couple months ago, they sold two properties in South Carolina for 156 million. For both properties, one was a 385 room Hilton, another one was a 255 uh, room NBC Suites. I think both of these were in Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 
we talk about $244,000 per door. Crazy. <clears throat> it seems like a lot to me. I don't know about the hotel business. I know about multifamily and rental, pro single family rental property. And if you're paying two fifty per door, that's a hell of a lot of money. You know what I mean? At least f f from what I'm investing in. So I'm just like, damn, that dude, man, he either having some real value add or maybe that's just how the industry is. I'll do some more research on that. I suggest you do more research on it. This young lady right here is the CEO. Leslie D. Hale is the CEO of RL Lodging and Trust, man. Put your people on, man. You understand what I'm saying, man? This is real. This is real life, real investing. This is people that been had a track record. And there's people that we can learn from, man. I learned a lot doing these. That's why I like I've always liked doing this series probably out of all my YouTube videos the most. Uh, if you have any suggestions on people I should do that I haven't done, email me, info at Thelonious C. Jones. I give thanks for Robert L. Johnson and all what he's done for um, the community, man, and just for and just, just for himself. Because when you do things for yourself, you do things for the community, man. So, so much love to him. And now go to RLJ... RLJ lodgingtrust.com you can see all his hotels so maybe you're going out of town some one time and you need to st you want to stay at a hotel owned by the kid or, or look you want to do this right here see this is how the real bosses really do it man you understand what i'm saying you you, you invest in the stock rlj stock bam then every time you travel you stay at his hotel man get your mind on your money man stop 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 staying in the hotel because you saw it on instagram give thanks man Thelonious c jones man i'm out